Now, last time we kind of went through it quickly and we kind of, but I wanted to go through it visually so you would see. But what I want you to do is I want you to look at, these are the three problems that we worked with last time. We had one half, oops, I need my pen here. Scoot that up there. We had one half times one fourth and we, were, we came up with one eighth. All right, we had one eighth, well, we had one half of one eighth and we got one sixteenth. And then we had one third of one fourth, and what we what we got was one twelfth. Now, boys and girls, if you look at this and you look at and you look at our pattern here, look at the bottom numbers, see how they change. Top numbers. Okay? What we have is in terms of a generalization, a formula of what we've done, we've taken 1 over n and we've multiplied it by 1 over m where n is any number and m is any number and what we're going to get is 1 over n m or 1 over n times m. Okay? How does that look? Well, 1 n is 1 half times 1 fourth which would be 1 m multiply them together, n m, n times m, we're going to get 1 eighth, 1 over 8. 2, 8, multiply them together, 2, 8, multiply again, and we're going to get n times m, or 16. 3, now we're looking here, th 1 over 3, 1 over 4, multiply them together, we're going to get n times m, or 12, okay? So that's the pattern we're working with. That's, that's the formula we're going to use. And we're going to get a, a more general, a grade one that's more, you know, all-encompassing as we go forward. But that's where we're going to start right now. All right. So let's look, let's start with our board again. Okay. And our board is uh, four-fifths of a yard long. Okay. So give me a second to draw this. <laughs> And we're going to use kind of the same drawing for these. And I'm just going to try and erase, but I want you to just make a new drawing. So this is a board. It's four-fifths. And we are going to be using one, two, three, four. Those are the four chunks we're going to use. So my question is if we have four-fifths of a board, okay, what is... two-thirds of the board of, our, of, of the board okay so what our formula looks like it's going to be two-thirds of four-fifths which means two-thirds times four-fifths and what we're, what we're going to do is we have to break this four-fifths I'm pointing at it, you can't see. We have to break four fifths now into two thirds. And each one of these we're going to spend and we're going to break into thirds. So, thirds, 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 and thirds. Now, we're going to take two thirds of each one of those. So, that's. Okay. Now, what do we have? Well, if we continue with this, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight, and how many total pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have eight fifteenths. Now, if we look at our formula, remember our formula is right here. One one n times one. 1, one, one over n times 1 over m is equal to 1 and m. Well, this time, basically, we multiplied 1 times 1. Well, here, we're, we have to multiply 2. We have to multiply our numerators. 2 times 4 is 8. And then we multiply our denominators, which is 3 times 5 is 15. Remember, in the past, boys and girls, what I've basically said is you're making two multiplication problems, 2 times 4 and 3 times 15. All right. So it's the same it's the same multiplication, okay? Same as what we've been doing. All right, um, our next problem, and 
I guess we're not, I'm not going to be using the same one because it's a completely different problem. We have, we're going to have 3 fourths multiplied by 5 sixths. Okay, so first thing we need, basically it's asking us what is 3 fourths of 5 sixths. So let's draw 5 sixths here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we want 5 of those. Let's, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to take 3 fourths. So we're going to have to split each one of those into 4 parts. And I should probably make these a little bigger so we know where our main hash marks are. So 4, so... And even though we're not doing this one, we have to include that one. And now we're going to take three-fourths of each one. So one, two, three, leave the fourth. One, two, three, leave the fourth, leave the fourth, leave the fourth, and leave the fourth. So how many pieces do we have? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is going to give us fifteen. And now how many total pieces do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 15 over 24. Oops, that's not 24 at all. I apologize. It won't let me erase, unfortunately. Weird. So 15 over 24. I can divide both of those by 3, and I'm going to get 5 over 8. All right? Now, if I want it simplified, I can just multiply this one, multiply this one. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 6 is 24. Okay? I'm going to give you two more problems. I want you to, to work these on your own. And I'm going to try something here where I'm going to add a new page. This works. All right, so... Here we go. The first problem is 2 thirds times 4 seventh. And then we have 1 half times 5 ninths. So why don't you pause the video and work on solving these two problems. All right, here we go. First thing, we're, we're asking what is 2 thirds of 4 seventh. So we're going to add, we're going to see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we want four of those, so let's circle four. One, two, three, four. And we want two thirds, so we're going to break each piece into thirds. So I should always make these, our main lines, a little bit bigger, but here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And don't worry if it's not perfect. Let's take two of the, each of these. Two, four. Two, two, and because we're not including these, we don't have to worry. But how many do we have? Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of how many? Well, this is three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Eight out of twenty-one. Or to simplify, if you use the multiplication method, two times four is eight. Three times seven is twenty-one. All right. Next problem, one-half times five-ninths. Okay, let's give me a second here. I'll always start with a visual representation for you. So let's put that into thirds, thirds. And now we're going to take five of those. So one, two, three, four, five. And each one of those we're going to cut in half because we want to know what one half is. And let's take one half, which is here, 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 and here. So we have f we have five. And then how many total do we have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, five over eighteen. Or if we mul if we would have multiplied that, let's just switch colors here because we can. 
five time, 1 times 5 is 5 over 2 times 9 is 18. If you notice, the same. Okay, if you notice, this would have been the same. All right, so that's it for video two. Sorry, that's it was a long one. Um, the rest of them will be a little, I think the third one will be a little bit shorter. All right.